Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Voice Race. It's Jude here again. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas to you and I hope you're having loads of fun. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can set up Google Assistant to work with your versatile of Fitbit Sense. If you recall, Fitbit had announced the addition of um, Google Assistant to the Sense and Versatile, and this feature is only available right now with the latest updates. This update is already rolling out in many countries. I just received um, the update and I have updated. And one of those features that comes with this update is Google Assistant. And um, to set this up is quite very easy. So in this video, I'm going to just take you through the setup process. You have to know that you can only use um, one voice assistant at, at a time. Although you have Alexa and Google Assistant, you can only use one of these at any given time. So guys, before we proceed, please, if you're new to this channel, if you've not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and of course on the notification bell next to it to get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. All right, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is open up the Fitbit app. If you open up the Fitbit app and tap on the profile icon at the top left hand corner and tap on the first tray. And this takes you to the first tray interface. On the first tray interface, you can tap on voice assistant. When you tap on that, you can see Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Now, I have Alexa already active, so I'm going to set up um, Google Assistant. So I'm going to tap on that, and this will take me to the setup process. Now, on the next page, you can see that um, this allows you to use your voice to do simple things. Of course, what you need to do now is tap on that activate Google Assistant to continue the setup process. So the next prompt shows up and with this prompt now, it tells you that if I have to continue, then I'm going to be logged out of Amazon Alexa. I will tap on continue and this will begin the connection process. All right, Google Assistant is now connected. Now it says activate Google Assistant on your versatile Use your voice to track our workouts and more. You can deactivate your assistant at any given time in the settings app from the Fitbit versus tree or the Sense. So you just go ahead and um, tap on and click on activate to continue the setup process. Now it says the new way to talk to Google, navigate, communicate, and get things done. Help your assistant customize your experience by turning on these settings. Okay. So you can just go ahead and turn this on if you wish, okay? If you don't want that, you can just say no thanks. So I'm going to just turn this on for my own personal experience. So when you turn that on, it takes you to the next page. And on the next page, you have Google Partners who work with your assistant to help you. So I'm going to just continue. And it says connect Fitbit to your Google Assistant. So tap on connect. Now you need to agree to this privacy so then tap on agree to continue so on the next page you need to log in with your google account so once you log in you need to allow google assistant by google would you like to allow this um, um access to the following data on your fitbit i'm going to tap on allow all and then i'll continue and it says get personal results Allow Google Assistant to give results specific to you in the Versa tree, like your calendar and reminders. So I'm going to tap on turn on. And this takes me to the next page and it says your assistant is ready. So we just finished setting up Google Assistant for the Versa tree and Sense. So you just need to go ahead and tap on done for, to finish up the setup process. All right, guys, you can now tap on close and the voice assistant for Google Assistant is now activated on your Versatile tree and as well on your Fitbit Sense. This process is it's quite very similar for both devices. Now, when you come to Fitbit Versa tree, when you swipe through, this is Google Assistant on the Versa tree. Now, to assess this, you have a shortcut here which is customizable. I've already customized mine. When I tap and hold on this, okay. It brings up um, Google Assistant, and there is also, there is also the the double tapping of this. Okay, you now Fitbit Versa Tree has two shortcut options, so I'm going to tap double tap on this. I've already added um, Google Assistant to the shortcut here, so this can be customized. Um, 
you go to the settings app here you tap on it and you scroll down you scroll down to shortcuts okay I'll tap on shortcuts now you have the press and hold you can choose um to turn this on or off and then you select the shortcuts you want to add to that i have already added google assistant to that okay you can change that if you want and then you have the double press you can also um customize this okay you can select four apps i have music i have um quick settings i have google assistant and i have settings added to my double tap shortcut all right so i'm just going to go back okay so that is how you can add the the voice assistant um to the available shortcut options all right guys now that we have um google assistant activated on your versatry or on the sense let's see what it looks like hey google set up the alarm 4 p.m. So guys, that's just it. You can now use Google to do simple tasks like set up an alarm, um, set up a reminder, and all that. And this is a good one. I mean, it gives you the option of either choosing Google or choosing Alexa. And one other thing I found very interesting with this is that while I can't use um, Alexa to start a call on my phone, I can use Google Assistant here to start up a call on my phone. Hey Google, call Mike. Uncle Mike. So guys, this is some of the interesting features that comes with Google uh, Assistant. And this is a nice one for the Fitbit Versa 3 and Fitbit Sense. All right, guys. Thank you for taking out your time to watch this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, goodbye.